Hey cartooners, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Woody Woodpecker. So come on, let's get started. Well guys, I got to be honest with you. Sometimes I get video requests that make me scratch my head. Uh, Does anybody know who Betty Boop is anymore? Rocky and Bullwinkle. Popeye the Sailor? Well, these characters are very near and dear to my heart. I didn't really think that anybody would want to watch me draw Betty Boop, but I mean, you guys are watching them. So, um, yeah, Woody Woodpecker, <laughs> you got it. All right, so with Woody, I want to make sure that I've got enough room for that pompadour of a hairdo he has. So I'm going to draw in a circle about yay big. Now, Woody's line of action is going to I go back like this. When he stands, uh, he likes to put his uh, chest out. Because Woody is a bird, uh, the torso kind of goes back like this. And then his legs, very humanoid, will come in like this. Kind of like the old cartoons with Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, the director will often have their own art style. And that's what happened with Woody Woodpecker. Different directors would have their different ways of, of how they wanted him to look, as well as the time periods. Um, Woody Woodpecker was often redesigned um, to fit a, a different demographic. We're gonna go with the one that I grew up with. So I'm going to just go right off of the model sheet. Um, they actually use this a lot in production um, advertising too. So, um, so he's going to have one hand kind of on his hip here, and the other one is like he's presenting. Okay. So we get the palm out like that. The thumb will be up like this goes the, the center of the palm there like that. And there we have it. That's all we need right now to figure out this pose. Let's just throw in his feet. And let's dive back into that head. I want to give plenty of space for that pompadour. And I may not go quite so big with the hair. We'll see how it looks. So we've got the eyes and they've got to be nice and big, right? He's not only very expressive, but he's also a little cuckoo. <laughs> he's, there's something qu not quite right with Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> So we want to make sure that we give him great big eyes so those eyes can really be pushed. The eyes will go over the beak and they do overlap each other. So, I'll just darken those in except for down here where I'm going to now give him that beak. The beak goes out right about here and then comes in like this. side of the beak right there like that which will help me figure out how far I can go down with an open mouth I always draw that part before I draw the inside that way I don't go too far and I'll curve like that all right Draw the back of his head like so, and then come up with that awesome head of hair of his. Just 
going to draw individual tufts like this. And then give him those eyebrows. He needs those eyebrows to really push his his um, expression and his mood. So we make sure that they're nice and nice and prominent. And there we go. Let's see. All right. Now from there, I'm gonna give him. that collar he seems to have around his neck. <clears throat> and then, um, let's see, let's throw in his body. All right, so he has a white underbelly and the blue is like a cobalt blue all right so let's see let's throw in the arms you'll notice the arm shape like this you know they are wings so they need to be able to be used as wings on occasion Never figured out exactly how he was able to fly with gloves. All right. Now the hand. Typical three-fingered hand. Like so. The other hand, we're going to do like this. I'm veering off the model sheet a little bit because um, throwing a little bit of myself in here. All right. his feet like Tweety. And then finally, he has two tail feathers. I'm gonna throw them in just like this. All right. Guys, if you like drawing this with me, I've got some other videos right here for you. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And until the next video, we'll see you later.